Hello, my name is Charles, and I play the double bass in the Cleveland Orchestra. I chose the double bass because of its awesome size and low tones. Mrs. Dobbs, my elementary school music teacher, came into our homeroom class and demonstrated all four string instruments. As she progressed from the violin to the larger instruments, I could barely contain myself as she pulled out the double bass and played those first few notes. I could tell you it was love at first sight. If you're thinking of playing the double bass, there are a few things you want to keep in mind. First off, the double bass is big, and you want to take that into consideration with transportation. Some school buses don't allow the bass on board, so you want to have a parent or somebody with a large car, SUV, or station wagon to transport this instrument to and from school. The double bass is accessible to all those who wish to play it, and they come in different shapes and sizes, from one-eighth size all the way up to full size. I can tell you for certain that you won't be playing an instrument of this size when you start out, but it is very important to get set up with the right fit from the beginning. Lastly, I wanna talk about the stool that I'm sitting on right now. No, I'm not feeling tired and I'm not feeling lazy. I'm actually using this for a very good reason. As you start playing the bass, you might be standing or you might be sitting on a stool. I choose to sit on a stool because it provides stability and a better foundation for me to play. Don't forget, stools do come in all shapes and sizes as well. One of my first memories of playing the bass in an orchestra was in middle school when I got to play the Russian Sailor's Dance by Glier. It's a piece that starts off with this very stormy beginning and then everyone stops and the double basses are left alone to play this really awesome melody. What I love about the bass is the fact that it can play low tones, but it can also sing in the upper register. Listen to this melody of green sleeves played on the G string. <laughs> One piece that features the double bass in particular is a piece called The Carnival of the Animals by Camille Saint-Saëns. There's a movement called The Elephant, and in that you can hear quite vividly the use of the double bass and how it mimics this large royal creature. I love the sound of the double bass and its role in the orchestra. Some of the things I love about playing in my orchestra is the fact that I get to perform in my local communities, I get to travel around the world, and I get to represent this great city of Cleveland. This is a great time to learn how to play an instrument. Which one will you choose? <laughs>